have a look around. I got a lots of junk. Now that title's too long. Hey, I play this game sometimes. Neat. Then Falcon Heavy Echo Star 24 launch coverage. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that'll work. I play this game sometimes. Jumping and running around in a Spocia safe environment, yes. How many hours? I have like... I think it's north of 300 on this save. BJ has machines if you have tickets. <laughs> Speaking of people who don't race, did you see that Latifi is going to become an accountant? Yeah, I saw that. I should help you. No, I don't want to listen to that. You should make this save multiplayer for fun. No. Uh, we have 337 hours into this save. I just finished working on my foundries. This is what we finished last night before the Starlink launch. The foundries are... Well, they're not foundries, they're smelters. This is caterium and aluminum. I tried to put them inside of a building that looks like an industrial foundry. I think, I think we did okay. I tried to make this look like a steel mill almost. See, we even got our big overhead crane. Discovery, go at throttle. Bio, 11 month resub. Thanks, man. A bunch of backup having nerds running around won't hurt anything, Kappa. Um, no. I don't wanna. Oh yeah, I got to paint this a different color. There we go. Why no move? What do you mean? The belts? Oh. They feed into the, um... They feed back in here. The belts go down there and they go in over there and then they come down, they come out over there and then come back here. Come down, yeah. What you want? Yeah, the belts. It's because they they don't go, they don't go anywhere. I do need to, I don't know why I didn't finish this. But. signs is actually a good way to uh, build half walls if you need to. Nice. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. Thirty seconds to what? Which? What are you talking about? Launching. Dude. Look. Would NSF be not streaming if a Falcon Heavy is launching? You've 
been debated. Report the channel, please. Ew, why chrome? Because I like chrome and clearly you don't, but uh, you know, you don't have to use it. I do, so yeah. Because it works and I don't really care. Yup. Yep. Yeah, report that channel, dude. Falcon Heavy is not launching for another hour and 30 minutes. So here, here, I'll, uh, we'll go over here and I'll link you up, uh, to the real one. So SpaceX. Right here. Here's the actual channel. So, breathe the belts come out there, um, and this is a raw material feed line here. Uh, and they go in here like this, and uh, then they go into this elevator. This is kind of where the resources that are coming from my refineries, resources that are coming from raw material miners, and from the train stations over there all kind of converge. Uh, and here is where they pop pop out. They're, my foundries for making uh, iron, copper, and steel are going to be right here. That's just a smelter building. We're going to put the foundries over here. Um, and then the belts will go around them, and they'll feed into the main factory over here. Yeah, asteroid, sorry. Uh, all fours, maybe. Yep. The factory, this is what one floor on the factory is going to look like. <clears throat> and all the resources are going to come right here to these gray squares, and they're going to go up. And every floor is going to be a different object for production. After seeing the smelter space, are the foundries going to fit there? I don't think so, Jim. I'm kind of worried about it. Are you dropping frames or is it just me? I'm not dropping frames. Satisfactory has, when you move and render different chunks, it doesn't like it sometimes. But if you move around slow, it's just fine. I'm not sure if we're going to have enough room for those foundries, dude. But we'll... Here. Let's, uh... I'm gonna, I mean, the building, the foundry building's probably gonna be, end up being attached. You said this. Okay. Ugh, I'm so sorry. No, don't worry about it, dude. It's alright. It's all good. It's gonna make 50 per minute, right? So, with the smelters, we scaled it to, to be up to like a thousand a minute. So, how many foundries do you think we would need if they're outputting at 50? We need 20. Three types of ingots is 60. I know. What's your stance on overclocking? I don't figure in overclocking into the into my math 95. The reason why I don't do that is in case I didn't get the numbers exactly right, and then I can overclock it later. Yeah, I, I never figure in overclocking as into my like base numbers. I always use it for later, just in case I need it. Like right now. <laughs> I mean, this is a little bit early, but... 
Hmm. Yeah, this is a this is a quandary. You can't destroy those rocks, Bree. I've destroyed everything that you can destroy here. Um, we do have area over there. That could work. Um, this all doesn't need to be here anymore. Uh, we can get rid of all of this. And this is where my original steel foundry was supposed to be. But see, this this belt doesn't need to be here. Um, it's a super old design anyway. I mean, how many could we theoretically fit in here? It kind of, yeah, uh, aquaments I know. I mean, we could shop, but I don't. I don't want to. I don't really want to do that. We can make the row a bit tighter. See the train off in the distance out there. I mean, we could scope around and see what else we can find. Go ahead. Snoop around. All good shot. I mean, we're going to kind of... We have to really come up with a design for it first. Like, I, I came up with a design for the building and the, the arrangement for the smelters. But the smelters are pretty straightforward. Feed one, in, one, one resource in one side and one resource comes out the other side. With this, we have a double belt feed. We're gonna need copper and iron ore. And our copper array is gonna to need to be really close. Wherever our copper foundries are, they need to be close to the iron foundries because they both require the same thing. To fabrication. Yeah. Choo choo train. If that damn rock wasn't there, we would have enough space. That's what's annoying about this. Show you the train? That's the bauxite train. You wanna take it for a ride? Oh no, it's leaving. Come back!
dude. No. No. I hit the wrong button. Dueling trains. We'll head him off at the pass. We won't head him off at the pass. Uh, come back! <laughs> come back! Damn it! Ah, shit, yeah, spot. Well, we're we're here now. This is fine. Here, catch. Yummy. Look on the bright side. You're getting your daily fix it mandated exercise routine in early. Indeed. Indeed. Hey, buddy. Hot potato. Uh oh. That's a cave. I don't, I don't do caves. I had a uh, very bad experience. Yeah, dead crew was still on for Falcon Heavy. Yep. Go in. What happened? I had a bad experience. We don't need to get that, that stupid summer's loop. I don't care. Fire in the hole. Totally tripping balls. Nice. Slug. Precisely. Slugma. Scan.
All right, seriously though, we need to find a spot for more foundries. We need, well, let's do it. Let's do the math. She's on my lawn, so do the math. recipe is 50 per minute for that one. Is it 50 for the alt copper? It's 100 per minute for the copper. And then alt, alt steel is 60 per minute. So, like I said, I try to... What did, I, what did we scale it to? I think we scaled it to a Mark V belt. So, enough to saturate fully a Mark V belt. So, we went to 1,000 RPM there, right? 1,000 resources per minute. So, if that was the case, we would need 20 iron. Let me just make sure that that's the right. Yeah. We would need 20 iron foundries, 10 copper, and uh, my brain's getting going to paste. Seventeen of these. So seventeen, ten, and twenty. Mark five leather, 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 leather belt. You can do that in game. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that's what we got. Copper, it's not that bad, but it would be prudent to gotta keep copper near steel so we literally have to find a spot for about 30 Go and throttle up. 30 smelters Ooh, baked hey 21 month resub so 47 of those to start oh boy That's a lot of dim. Alright, what's in here? Anything I can use? No. What's in here? No. Yeah? No. You like the SpaceX tents? Nice. That's motor. What about rotor? Still not close. some of the carapaces. Make the protein and make the DNA capsule. Put that into the sink, get some tickets. That'll free up some space. Ah. 
Nice. Because I like the uh, the texture of those tanks, Nova. That's the big one. I like the texture of those tanks. I like the texture of those tanks. It makes the texture on the outside look nice and uh, spherical. Spherical. Press X to flip. Wait, how'd you do that? Do you have a tip for when for starting satisfactory satellite factories? No, what you really gotta do is just build a small factory that's just quick and it gets the job done. Like if you need screws, just set up one constructor that's making screws and then just go do something else for a little while. You know what I mean? Know what I mean? Break it. find my case full of nuts. Ah, there it is. It's a nut case. That's a lot of nuts! That'd be eight bucks, baby. You want you want fries with that? Alright, don't want that. Put that in there. Oh hell yeah, we got ten tickets, boys. Is there anything else that we can put in here that I don't want? Nope. Kung Pao reference. You are a god. Well, guess what, Joe? I am a great magician. Your shirt is red. <laughs> How does he do it? He just left. Chosen large tub. I got some yellow liquid for your popcorn, and it's non dairy. <laughs> Bird. <laughs> Bird. Deep. Bird. Taika, taika, taika. <laughs> oh. That's bad. <laughs> taika, 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 taika. Bird. Supercomputer. Empty canister. They don't have half walls? I don't think so. Where did Kerbal go? I'm tired, man. My brain started to get pasty and I, uh, the wrinkles started to come undone, so I, uh, I stopped. <laughs> mm, 
feed pipes? I don't think we need anything, dudes. I mean, unless we want to get the hazard box, storage box, or whatever. I have the coffee cup. There are quarter walls. Math turns that into a half. SpaceX audio is online. Most excellent. All right, well, we don't have anything with the tickets. Let's just do that for now. Uh, and then we can concrete, boy. Or we just need more rotors. Oh, that was auto save. Hello. That's a lot of encased beams that I got chilling in there. That's kind of neat. Oh, man. <sighs> but yeah, we'll, demo on Monday will, um, we're gonna go forward with more Star Raker. Yeah, rotors. See last. Uh, nope. I replied to you already. I see it. Thank you. That's not very satisfactory, is the secret? all the rubbers we have there. Yeah, this is my temp factory area. This is just an area where I just have... This is what I mean. No, see what this is? Just a basic factory, and you just feed it some resources. That's it. No automation, no nothing. Just manual production runs, and that's it. That's what this factory is for. I have this factory up so I can build all the things that I need to basically get me back to the point that the old factory was in. The most complicated thing that the old factory was making was, uh, like, frames. Seriously. Everything else I made by hand. I say sorry too much. Sorry. Don't be sorry. Be quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, the short, short version. Do you? Do you? Good. You're married. Kiss her. I still got to look around. We got to figure out where we're going to put these 47 freaking factories and these 47 Lamborghinis. Sorry. It's the hair. <laughs> do you? Do you? Good. You're married. Kiss her. Um, we got the dimensions figured out, someone, and, uh, yeah, then my brain started to go, so, just, now my brain can go, and satisfactory, but at least I can bounce around. 
I heard something about apologizing too much. Someone, you butted into this conversation. You need to apologize to Sea Kraken Boy. Sea Kraken Boy, you need to apologize to someone because I called him and you answered. Apologize to each other now and see who says sorry for longer. will please me. <laughs> What's... Should have been asked a hundred times? It's probably like closer to 154 meta. I'm just kidding. What's up? Sorry, but what's up with Falcon Heavy? We are... About an hour away. That hour should go fast. The last hour before the launch always does. Over-apologizing is my entire thing. What am I going to do now? Actually be funny and entertaining? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, hold on. Let's let's clear let's clear this off here. Get rid of this belt. We don't need it. Can we ban sorry? Sorry. No, we can't do that. trying to see what kind of room we have here. Trying to do some, figured something out to do while the rotors are getting made. I know there's blanket delete, guys. I just want to make sure I don't select something wrong again, like that. That's all right. It's off in the distance. It's not a problem. Okay. How much space do we have here for reals? Uh, 
let's just go right here. And if we build in up to here with factory structure, what are we talking about? So let's do that. Get rid of the ramp. Man, you know this stuff's old when there's freaking rip metal around. So, if this is at this level here, how big of a structure could we make? So, I like painting this stuff, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Eleven. Yeah, MD, that might be right. And if we did a double distribution system like this, how, how wide is this thing? Is there any denomination of foundries that equal a similar amount of spaces? That's it right there. See how the, the footprint for it? footprint for it is right there. It's four. Uh, I'm thinking. So if I can make that in groups of four, and we have Oh hold on. How many blocks wide is this? One, two, three, four, five. So that's four foundries every five blocks. So if we have ten blocks, that means we can make it eight. And if we have double feed on either side, that means we have 16. Repost dish. I don't know if you saw, but a guy from Varda Space is currently working on synthesizing LK99 and is streaming it. Figured you'd find it cool. Oh, that's neat. How many do we need? Uh, 47. Sneaky, my iron needs 20. Copper needs 10. Steel needs it rounds up to 17. Sixteen would be three lines. LK99 is a potential superconductor. I, I've been reading about the superconductor, dude. I'm waiting for peer review before we talk about it on stream. I think that's a fair thing to do. You know what? Hold on. Okay, so... I don't want to stack smelters on top of each other. I want, I want them on their own foundations and buildings. We can get rid of this. This was an old substation that I did really, really quick because I just needed power.
But, dude, if 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 that superconductor, I will say this, Octolux. You know, we're waiting on peer review. But if that superconductor works, um, okay. Uh, yeah, you guys want Star Trek because that's gonna get us there pretty fast. Yeah, you take your time out, yeah. Ah, uh, there it is. Warp drive in five years. I don't think a superconductor will do that exactly, but... I mean, you're opening up the door for... I mean, computing power is going to go through the roof. I mean, amongst other things. 100% their process got a conflict in how they do some reaction. Tweet for actual smart person who knows what they're talking about. Wouldn't LK99 cause issues with ROHS? I don't know what that, what's ROHS. I don't know what that means. Reduction of hazardous material laws. Okay. Superconducting interconnects and chip design would be a game changer. I mean, like I said, computing. Like, I'm not gonna say that I know the full, like, deal with, um, like, superconductors. I mean, I know what it is. It's, like, I know, I know, you know, like what a superconductor does. You don't need super low pressure or and super low temperature to get basically zero electrical resistance, right? But, like, the applications are... The applications are insane. out of the way but yeah I, did, I was kind of holding off on talking about it guys because um, yeah I was just I was holding off because peer review but yeah the, the possibilities are insane lossless power lines yeah that that yeah we're go like we're talking post scarcity here which is kind of insane that it's even being discussed. I know that's something I never thought we'd see. Like actual post scarcity, not just some boneheads freaking pipe dream about scarcity like post scarcity basically means fellas that there's you don't have to worry about living day to day. Like, there is so much stuff. Like, it's so easy to like make food or just like survive that, yeah. I mean, I don't know if we'll ever fully get to that point, but this will definitely, this is definitely one of those like Star Trek game changer type things. If it works, gotta prove it. It's not, it ain't what you know, it's what you can prove. Yeah, like lossless power transmission. Seriously, that that would Yeah, that would be a big one. Yeah, if yeah, freaking that that stuff happens like oh, This stuff happening right when AI like dude, supercomputing a superconductor computer that has a super that has superconductors architecture kind of built into it running an AI is like Cortana from Halo like that's yeah 
Like, it opens up crazy doors for, like, quantum computing and stuff like that, dude. It's actually really, really cool. Not saying it was aliens, but this was basically the beginning of the plotline of the MST3K movie. I'm gonna raise this foundation up by two meters and see how much more space we actually end up getting here. What do you think we get first? Lossless power transmission? High power or wireless? I don't know, man. Any one of those would be would be great. <laughs> I mean, also, a superconductor is huge for spacecraft design. Huge. That drastically simplifies what you need to do to the electronics of a spacecraft. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's a big deal. Software is nowhere near that point. Chat AAs are like parrots. Yeah, but we can iterate a lot faster, Kalani, don't you think? There's like literally no downtime. That's what I mean. With a superconductor, with a computer that's built with superconductors, even if it's a not like not a quantum computer, guys, you could you, the bandwidth that your processor uses to communicate with, like, or to, to work basically, that basically happens with zero lag, like zero. Yeah, it could be used for... Superconductors could be used for maglev rails. Sneaky? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, this is like... Dilithium crystal crazy, if it actually works. Like, it would be... I would have the same reaction that I would to somebody being like, Oh, yeah, the dilithium crystals from Star Trek. Yeah, that actually works. I'd be like, <laughs> What? <laughs> But yeah, I've been kind of holding off on it for... What, ion drives? Easy peasy, Smirks. Yeah, um, you want... So, Smirks, think, uh, TIE Fighter? You want TIE Fighter? Yeah, TIE Fighter. The wires that you're connecting the ion, the ion engine in, together don't need... You don't need to worry about heat building up in those wires. You don't need to worry about those wires melting, so you could run in insane currents through them. So, like, yeah, TIE Fighters. Is there a credible source on this? No, there is not. Brian, the... Uh, a group of scientists out of Korea released papers about, about this, that they were able to make a superconductor that, uh, that exists basically, um, it exists basically without, like, cryopropellants or whatever, um, and no low pressure, because superconductors generally in the past were only a thing that you could do, like, in a vacuum or something, in very specific conditions. They're very, they're very expensive to make. This one can exist at room temperature, at just regular earth pressure. Um, yeah, 260, yeah, yeah th there you go. Room temperatures and pressures. Yeah, um, so they published this paper and people are peer-reviewing it. If it's peer-reviewed and it succeeds, dude, I'm serious. This this is like... I, I'm trying not to exaggerate, but superconductors would be... Let me think. I'm trying to think what would be a good... Like, what... Chat, what do you think was a good like, technological leap. Uh, a good technological leap 
that would be on par with a superconductor. Maybe a digital processor. Maybe like transistors, sliced bread, micro pro yeah, microprocessor or a transistor. Yeah, that it, it's like that. Yeah, atomic bomb, the topical. Yeah, it, it, Brian, we're talking that. We're talking that kind of breakthrough. Like this, they will make movies about this. If it's if it's that, if it actually works. Barbie! <laughs> yeah. Barbie's the superconductor. Or something. Microprocessors. Probably a war, be a war with the Chinese in 20 odd years. Microprocessors. Somebody jack, somebody jack some microprocessors on Route 128. This is the kind of processor that can put a cruise missile up the butt of a camel from a couple hundred miles away. What do you smoke, Chad? What do you smoke? No, you don't smoke? What do you want of those fitness freaks? Huh? Go frick yourself. Grand champ, she fell funny. You really ought to see somebody, Francis. Superconductors are great and all, but the Empire needs a new Death Star after some kid blew it up. So you can get into that. So if you can get onto that, that'd be great. Yeah, I have eight different bosses, James. Eight. And if I... If I make a mistake in the thermal exhaust coupling, I got eight different people coming to tell me about it. I've seen a lot of supposed wonder technologies not past peer review in my 30 years alone. Until peer review is done, I won't spend a minute thinking about it. Mini, that's basically where I'm at. I'm 100% with you. Has to be peer reviewed. This is science, baby. Peer review, your opinion doesn't matter. God, that feels good to say. Eight, eight, Bob. Big if true. Yep. All right, I'm gonna make a raised platform here. And if we, how, how close are we? Oh, we're getting there. If we uh, get going here, That's where the rock is. So how about we start the platform right... Yeah, right here would be fine. See if we can raise it up by four meters. What kind of plot are we talking about here? Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> Damn it, did you watch? The guy went and saw the freaking Barbie movie. <laughs> Alright, this is getting guys saw the freaking Barbie movie. What the hell? You know what chat? You're Knuff, okay? How was Barbenheimer? Oppenheimer Oppenheimer is amazing. Um yeah, it's it's awesome. I wasn't expecting anything less. Um, Oppenheiser, Oppenheisenberg. Dude, I saw this on the internet and it's, I saw this I think on Twix or something. Uh, <laughs> somebody goes, man, I'm tired of all these Hollywood remakes. They just, Christopher Nolan just remade a movie about a guy who meets a guy named Heisenberg who competes against a guy named Heisenberg and does stupid things out in the New Mexico desert. God, don't they have any original ideas anymore? I'm like, <laughs> nice, nice, <laughs> excellent. How does Barbie compare to Oppenheimer? Uh, what? <laughs> It doesn't. They're two different movies. Where did you go to see Oppenheimer? Framingham. We went to we went to the Framingham Theater username because uh, that was the only place where we could get like in in theater dining because Remo and I were there the whole freaking day. So we wanted a movie theater where we could eat and 
That's the only one that had it line up, so you could literally walk out of Barbie and walk, walk into Oppenheimer. Oh no, Velvet, that sucks. Good enough. We'll see. Personally, you're waiting for Oppenheimer, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 of course. Make one about Teller. They make a movie about Teller. It would, there would be no conflict. Teller would just be like, I want to make a bigger bomb, please. And some U.S. general would be like, you want to make a bigger bomb? Do you hate communists? Yes and yes. Okay, make a bigger bomb, son. Alright guys, we're almost to we're almost to found it. Wow. Wow, wow. There's already one about Teller, Dr. Strange. <laughs> okay. You love communists, Forlorn? Mind your own business! Jeez! Let's see, let's see what happens when we go up here. Unexpected activation of the emergency brake. Oh, Johnny, did you back the wrong hose? Horse, would you hose him, please? I said that wrong. I don't care. I'm tired. Leave me alone. You haven't finished this building yet? Hey, pouring concrete takes time. It's Fondag or something. Wouldn't be anything that I didn't do literally right there, so don't be too worried about it. My favorite part of the movie is when he said destroyer of worlds. Okay. Now I am become death. Destroyer of worlds. It takes time, but it'll have concrete results. See? See? That's right. Weird moment in the movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to see if we can get this plateau high enough here to... get enough room for our foundries. Backyard antidote about Teller. Negative. No, not at all, Elfish. 
Your favorite part of Oppenheimer is when Oppenheimer said, It's Oppen time! That's a lot of extra space. I think between that space over there, this space right here, and that space right there, we might be in business. We might be in business. Or when he said, Oppen bots, roll out. Yeah, yeah, that, that part was funny as well. How about the part where he said, I, I'm just Ken. Concrete boy. I didn't want to, I don't want to just flatten the freaking terrain into concrete freaking jungle, but this is probably the last time we're going to have to do it. Are we sure you can actually spoil the movie? I mean, there's some good lines and stuff in the movie, dude, if that's what you mean. The part where he's freaking out near the rock and his wife. Yeah, his wife comes up and she says, you're Kenuff. I told you. And then he breaks out into song and he's like, Where I see love, she sees a friend. I'm just Ken. Demo, you see that? You see the foundry or the smelter array that we just made over there? You know what that's called? That is the Mojo Dojo Smelter House. He had a blackboard in his workplace where he listed out his preliminary designs by delivery method. One was listed in his backyard because it was so it was so big you couldn't really move it effectively, but but you wouldn't need to. Just build it in your backyard and it'll get everyone. You'd have to bury it you'd have to bury it or build it under water because otherwise most of the energy would just punch out the atmosphere. Let's see? That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. The bomb explodes. Dude! <laughs> no, Mojo Dojo. Mojo Dojo Casa House, guys. Discovery, go at throttle up. Moto Man, 60 month resub. Rojo Mojo's like, hey, what up? Bro! <laughs> no! I think we can raise this plateau up one and it'll get it good enough. Hey, Alice. That was Discovery. a wonderful game. No one Thank you very up. much. Oh, yeah, baby. Alice, thank you for the raid. It's time. Chat. It's time. I think this is enough for our foundries, but we'll continue this project next week. It's time for Filkin. Yeah, James, two meter over there should be good. That should give me enough space. And I don't really like how much we built into the desert terrain here, but it doesn't, you know what? It doesn't look too bad. 
It'll look good once we put buildings and stuff on it and give it the ramps and train tracks and all this other stuff. So, beef out of that. And over here, like this. Discovery, go at throttle up. 